Hi and welcome to England for you. Today you join me with a amazing one. Now, going back six years ago, I got destroyed. And I mean destroyed for, for fishing this. And people, oh no, you don't work in a way. And I got so much hassle and so much grief. So today, we're proving you wrong. Beetroot, it is back. So, diced, cooked beetroot this is. So all it is, is beetroot that you get in those little plastic packs and uh, we've just rough rough diced it uh, because I like to sort of trim it up when I get on peg um, and it's effectively you want to be fishing it similar size to what you do meat um, like so gonna work it on a size 14 up just just as you look meat through the corner you can you, you can quick stop uh, as well if you want to do that we've fed some micros down the edge we're going to put a few more soaked micros inside the cad pot as well and uh, let's see how we go now the, the beetroot is my thought process about it sorry we've got a bit of a ambulance or fire engine or something scenario going on in the back but my thought process with fishing beetroot is that it creates a haze in the water and it's very similar to you know fishing anything that's like pellet or, or or any sort of bait that's of similar size because you can whittle it down if you wanted to make it pellet size for a different colour. And we're just going to fish it with a, as, as a cube today. A nice little shallow float. And like I say, we're just fishing down the edge. Um, it's it's around, not deep at all, around a foot. Um, We've got that nice little cube. Oh, and it was going, it was going. Let's get another cube on. It's excited. Um, so, it, it, yeah, fishing it really simply. Um, we've just got no no bands or anything like that. We've just we've just got a little. Well, it's not a little, but we've got a 14 hook. Just little enough to nick through the beetroot, but you know, still maintain. A, uh, a decent amount of hook showing now I'm just I like to just trim them up when the I, I dice them roughly but I like to trim them up when I'm on the bank I've fed quite a, a, a couple of handfuls and I've just potted some in so I'm not gonna go in with any more pellet I'm just gonna swing that bit in and just gently bring the float in lowering it gently and it's quite a light rig this um, it's sort of a 016 mainline 015 bottom and a size 10, 8 to 10 map elastic. So it's quite light stuff, but we're not directly on lilies. So my thought process is we'll be able to sort of graft it out into the into the open water. We should be able to anyway. Oh God, I was absolutely asleep then. Absolutely asleep, boys and girls. That went under like a rocket and I was too busy watching where them bloody fire engines are going. So they're concentrating on me fish. So get another piece on. I am gonna feel a little touch uh, of pellets with this one. And again, like I say, just roll it onto the hook like you would do with uh, meat with the point showing. And sometimes, like, I've, I've decided to use it today, is, you know, sometimes you have a coloured venue. Um, you know, red, red works. Red works as a corn, as a meat. And, you know, the beetroot, it's got that sort of earthiness of flavour, but it also, it's, it gives that, like I was saying, that ready haze in the water, which works really well. And it's soft and it's easy to hook. And it's heavy as well, so it does it does sit on the bottom quite well. We're into a fish now on beetroot, boys and girls. Like I said, beetroot is the master. Lee's cheering in the background because he was he was there, he knows. 
he knows the hammer that, that was given to me when I, when I was trying to fish beetroot last time, about six years ago. It's made a comeback and we have upped it on the beetroot. All I need to do now is get it in. We've got, like I said, we've got that nice light elastic on. Just allowing uh, nice and easy to glide around. Of course, I've hooked into the only piece of lily pad that's hanging about around me elastic. But apart from that, feels like not a bad little fish, to be fair. They do fight hard in here. Like I say, we've got light gear on here, so it, it, they are going to take a little bit longer to, to get in. But we're all for that. Oh, uh, that's a little common. Definitely putting a good account of himself up. Come on, beetroot fish, get yourself in. Only counts if we get you in net. Lee's caught another nice one there uh, on the uh, peg six. We're on obviously peg eight today at Candy Corner. And we've got the beetroot fishes in. Beetroot fish. Let's have a look, and he's a nice one as well. And, oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, he's hooked in the mouth. He's not hooked, foul hooked, or anything like that. This fish, this fish, and I'm holding him up to prove to you that this fish is hooked in the mouth, in the top lip, and he has taken beetroot because beetroot work, works as a bait. Oh yes. I mean, he's not happy about it either. And he's hooked perfectly in that top lip. In fact, that's the best hooking that I've had today, that. And a lovely little five state fish. What a little beauty. Let's, let's get him back in and uh, we'll see if we can have another. Right, boys, so the first one on beetroot. I tell you, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good bait. It may not be the bait that you always go to, and yes, other baits are better. But sometimes when you fish like, you need a red bait or something that stands out in dark water. Beetroot's the way forward, boys. And it's absolutely, astonishingly cheap. I mean, it really is cheap. So, let's get back out there and see if we can have another one. Right, so a few pellets in there. Just drag that little float into place. Oh, and again, didn't even settle. Didn't even settle. He wanted that beetroot so much. Didn't even settle that one. It's right in lily pads, though. Just gentle, steady pressure. Steady pressure. Oh, and he's out. He's out of the lilies. Boys, what can I say? Beetroot. No more shall I be teased about beetroot. Well, probably will be, but we're absolutely bagging on beetroot today, boys and girls. And it, it just goes to show, and this is the most important thing I get from fishing, right? Don't give a crap what other people say. If people are offering you advice and genuine advice, of course, adapt it, put it into your way of fishing, take it or leave it. That's what that's what fishing's about. But just because somebody says that you can't catch on something and you can't do this doesn't mean you should give up. And prime example, people give me crap for it. Did it stop me from fishing it? No. Is this fish hooked in the lip again? Absolutely. Just like the first one. And he's hooked again in the lip. Oops, sorry camera. Not put the camera in the best place there. And is he hooked in the lip? Let's have a look. Oh, absolutely. 
again, bang on, top lip. I've got Mr. Slater here for verification. Mr. Slater, where is that hooked? Straight, Straight in the top lip. So I'm going to get this one back in the water and what I'm going to do is we'll get the camera changed around and see if we can get a better angle and a close-up of, of a bit of float action. Right guys, so I'm going to just nip closer to camera and we'll just have a quick go through the rig before we um, before we uh, finish the video up with uh, hopefully another fish. So, elastic choice today is a MAP um, 8 to 10 and we've got one of the Progen uh, 0.4 shallow floats um, and that's got the... Um, uh, the smaller sort of um, this is more for like casters and maggot shallow but it does work down an edge and I wanted it to be it's quite a short edge like a, just over about 18 inches something like that and it's, it's quite a shallow edge so and um, the main line uh, we've got 016 to an 015 uplink which is about sort of eight inches or so and we've got a little number eight uh, dropper down there um, and we've got the, the bolt three number eights just underneath the float um, to a size 14 kkmb now i'm just going to show you this is obviously the piece of the beetroot and we're just going to 
nick that in and roll it on so it hooks a bit like hooking a piece of meat or a piece of sweet corn so we'll do that again because i think i did a little bit out of camera so again we're just hooking it like you do meat and just rolling it or corn just hooking it like so and uh, we're good to go let's get on the box we're going to see if we can have some more fish and uh, what I'm doing with the feed, like I said before, is I've got micros. Feed those mic micros in the in the cad cad pot. Been away from my peg for uh, sort of uh, 15, 20 minutes, so hopefully they're still there because we've uh, been doing a little bit of live feed just to uh, prove to everybody that beetroot does work. Well, you guys know because you're obviously watching it on a feature so you do know so w always lower that rig gently in we're into another fish beautiful bite that one oh he's holding holding <laughs> and get into this uh, reed so i keep the don't always be um in, you know don't always ship in straight away because have you seen this one is just trying to get under his feet and obviously with a small, small top kit, can't always put that angle on it. So don't always be eager to just ram it in on top kit straight away. If you go under your feet like this, on the first run, you're gonna to struggle to, uh, to get them in. A lovely bite, that one. Nice, progressive bite on straight, in, straight under bite. Another fit fish. And they, they go so well these uh, these carp and I know they haven't been fished for a lot and it's uh, warm weather and I love it but yeah it's doing well I know damn sad when you got the smaller elastics is obviously the uh, they don't half uh, go some I've not actually seen this one yet if I'm honest it's, all the way down the margins. And even though this, this fish is going a bit berserk and doing the runarounds, we've I've got every fish in even with this light elastic and it it's important to say that, is it you know it if you unless you're fishing with a really stupid fish, it's good to to sort of have a little light, little lighter elastic. Another one of these fit, fit commons. And he's in the net. And I do go some of these, these commons. Just lift this one up for, for camera. It's a lovely fish. And again, the, the markings on them have been fantastic. Fin perfect, that one. Just absolutely fin perfect. Let's get him back in. Right guys, so what have we got out of today's session? Number one is, don't listen to people all the time. Don't be bullied into trying things that you want to try. And if you have success in them, then great. If you don't have success in them, then you've not lost anything. It's just, that's what pleasure sessions are about, about learning different things. You know, to me, being a chef, I saw a, something that were red and consistency of meat. People dye meat all the time. It's a real cheap compared to getting like a tin of meat, one, one pound, 15, give or take, wherever you get from. More if you're getting spam. For the same amount of beetroot, you're looking at 50p, if, if that. And you know, that's what it's about. It's about just pushing the envelope and trying different baits, as long as fisheries allow it, you know, if beetroot's not gonna hurt anything. But 
it's just about trying these different things and you know today we've done really good success on it and down the edge and i'm sure i'm going to catch many more glenn's bagging on it lee's had a few on it as well so it's it proves that you know it's a really good method if fish correctly and in the right way so thank you for joining us again at candy corner um, it's been a fantastic day so far on the oscars pond and i'm sure it's going to be even better later on um, moving into into later parts of the day uh, but we're, we're going to carry on fishing and uh, we've got lots of videos for stockpile now so on the facebook group we are um, putting polls up to for de deciding which people want next and which things they want next so you know just get voting there and having a look for that but join us on those uh, those facebook groups at seven o'clock for the live feeds on fridays uh, great interaction fun and having a laugh on there it's you know it's great and then again join us on the uh, instagram angling underscore for you and again you can join us on with questions and anything that you want to ask and post those photos on their taggers in there and it's absolutely fantastic so thank you for the support um, join us on the next one guys like and subscribe tight lines